Hello guys, today I want to talk about validations for arrays in Laravel based on Laracast forum question. So imagine you're trying to validate some fields, some columns on the array. So each of the category ID is required and also exists as a category. But when you post empty categories, for some reason, validation doesn't work, although IDs are required, it seems. I've tried to recreate the situation and I will tell you the reason and the solution. So this is the validation for the controller. I intentionally didn't even bother with the database. So we validate the subtasks and a few fields of those subtasks. So name is completed and due date are all required. In my postman, I've recreated that scenario and if we post everything as planned, so name and with at least one subtask with all those three fields, we send and we get the correct result. As I said, it's not even in the database, it's just returning all the input. And as a proof to you that the validation actually works, if we remove the name from the post data, then we, as expected, get 422 status code with the validation. So the validation actually works. But Let's recreate the same scenario from that Laracast forum and let's post empty subtasks. Will the validation fire? We send and no, the validation passed through. It returns empty subtasks, although it seems that at least one of those fields are required or all of them required. But while doing that, we forgot one thing, that the subtasks array should be not empty. So this set of validation rules means that if subtasks are present, at least one of them, then those would be validated. So if we return that JSON and for example, remove the name from here, send, then the validation would fire with name of subtask is required. But in case of empty array, we don't specifically validate that the array should be present. To do that, of course, you also need to add subtasks and then provide the rule like, for example, required. And then if we hit send again, then the validation would fire that the subtasks itself is required with at least one item. In general, I see quite a lot of questions on Laracast forum about array validation in Laravel and arrays in forms in general. So we're in process of creating a premium tutorial or even a course just on that because the topic is pretty big. So follow me on Twitter for all the latest news. And also I will post some of those announcements and free videos, free versions on this channel as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.